Many people will tell you that Cobb was an avowed racist. But when and where did he make such a vow? And where is it recorded? Where is the evidence? Cobb, it is true, was born in Georgia in 1886, and a 1984 biography of Cobb, written by a college professor named Charles Alexander, does describe a hotel night watchman, a bellhop, and a butcher that Cobb fought with as being black. These things are enough for the people who want to believe Cobb was a racist maniac. It was certainly enough for the filmmaker Ken Burns, who in his documentary Baseball described Cobb as an embarrassment to the game because of his attitudes towards African Americans. Burns made Cobb a central figure in his film, if you remember, casting him as the anti-Jackie Robinson. But Burns did what so many others did. He forgot about the facts, which had to be dug for, and went with the low-hanging assumptions. What he told me, he told me that Ty Cobb was the meanest person he's ever met in his life. He was admired and hated by fans for his ferocious play on the diamond and for his outrageous conduct on and off the field. The most feared man in the history of baseball. Compare the numbers, all the other players pale in comparison to Cobb. He was the greatest. He had the highest batting average. It'll probably never be approached at 367. You know, his 4,191 hits. You know how many players that don't even have 4,000 or, or don't even have 3,000 that we look upon as superstars today. The managers eventually got smart about how to handle Cobb, and they said if he, if he makes it past first, throw the ball to third. And that was, uh, that was sort of the, their, their mentality, and, and that's how he changed the game. He, changed, he actually done more than just change the game. In slavery and was run out of town for his troubles. His grandfather was the equivalent of a conscientious objector who refused to fight in the Confederate Army because of the slavery issue. And his father was an educator and state senator who spoke out for his black constituents and had a very short political career as a result, and once broke up a lynch mob in town. It wasn't only mean to black, black always mean to anybody. That was Ty Cobb. 